Hi everybody, Peter here. So today we're going to talk about uh, Makuni carburetor parts a little bit and uh, hopefully I'll get this done in a reasonable amount of time and it'll make some sense to everybody. So those of you that have worked on a Makuni carburetor are familiar with this. This is the uh, this is the float needle seat and uh, this particular one is a 1.5. That's the number that that hole is which is a diameter of 1.5 millimeters or 60 thousandths in uh, inches if you will and down inside of there you will have this needle and if you look you'll notice that that needle resembles a four cornered star and the reason it's like that is so that the fuel as it comes out of the inlet it has an easier time getting past the needle so the one like this is usually used in a fuel pump application, a diaphragm impulse um, pump, or excuse me, yeah, impulse pump diaphragm type, or an electric uh, low pressure pump. This one is a, see if this thing will give me the number here. Um, okay. All right, we'll go with this one first. This is a three millimeter. And as you can see, there's a, like this enormous difference is it's right, focus please huge difference right so uses the same needle as the 1.5 seat does so in order to compensate for the extra fuel flow there are these holes that are put in right there and you can see it right there right and there's three of them radially around the uh, seat or around the hex and what that does is that goes down to the base just above where the needle seats somewhere about right there and it lets the fuel come out when the needle opens up Instead of it all having to go by the needle, it comes out of those holes. There's an even larger version of this. It's a 3.8 millimeter that has six holes in it. All the hexes have holes. That thing looks like a water faucet when it's letting fuel through. If you want to check your fuel system, if you're running your stuff really hard with carburetors, um, the rule of thumb we always used for years, drag racing, road racing, um, with a two-stroke, and it, it's applicable to pretty much to everything with the carburetor, is you want 10 ounces in 10 seconds, which is a good rule of thumb. All right, so then you go into the jets, right? And there's all kinds of confusion about jets. Well, there's a lot of confusion. Let's say not all kinds, but a lot. There's two types of Makuni jets, by and large. These are reverse type jets. And you see that taper? That little taper in the hole all right and there it is there right this jet flows the same in either direction that number is an orifice size it's not a flow rating that's called a large round jet these are long hex sometimes referred to as amyl type and this happens to be a pretty large one uh, let's see there we go All right that only has a slight taper just like the other one none on this side All right this jet only flows in this direction letting the fuel come from this way where my finger is right there out this side with the threads it's only can flow in one direction accurately and that's 300 this particular one is a 400 so it flows 400 cc's per minute fuel and you can there is a crossover between the large round and the and the long hex but um, it's kind of nebulous it's a ballpark a yardstick you can do it, but the threading, or excuse me, the thread pitch is slightly different 
So you have to be careful where it screws into the needle jet. Um, it'll, I forget which way will work. The other way starts squeaking. One way there's clearance, one way there isn't. I don't remember which uh, main jet will screw into the needle jet without having a problem. But uh, just be aware of that. All right, hopefully that helps you out a little bit if you're trying to figure out what to do with your uh, fuel flow and your jetting. And uh, if you like this, um, you know, please comment, hit a like, subscribe, please, if you're not a subscriber. For those of you, for those of you that are subscribers, thanks for subscribing. And uh, catch you all later. Thanks for watching.